Uh, to start off, a breakdown for our viewers how the Trump administration's economic policies have benefited the black community. Well, there's no doubt that President Trump has led when it comes to having an economic agenda that has benefited the black community. We saw historic lows in unemployment for the black community uh, before COVID-19. And then after COVID-19, we saw five consecutive months of a decline in the black unemployment rate, which is a positive thing. We've seen uh, people come out of the black community, come out of poverty like never before. We've seen the wealth increase in the black community like never before. So this president, in, in addition to his uh, economic policies like lowering taxes uh, and lowering the corporate rate uh, for taxes, it, 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 he's also had a plan with governors to work on licensure issues to make it uh, so that we are removing barriers to entry for a lot of small business owners that have so many burdensome regulations and fees and it went, that it goes with having a license. And so this president has had a holistic policy, uh, even the individual mandate for Obamacare being taken away. That is something that is positive that impacted the black, uh, black community's economic condition. And then when you move forward, the president is doing more to address that for a second term. And I'm proud of that as well. Now, president Trump and Joe Biden, of course, have very different economic plans, despite Biden trying to copy the president's message of buy American, hire American. Just yesterday, rapper 50 Cent posted on Instagram saying, vote for Trump due to the tax hikes that Biden has promised to implement. What would the U.S. economy look like under a Biden administration and how would that impact the black community? Well, there's no doubt when Joe Biden and Kamala Harris say that they are not going to raise your taxes, it's a flat out lie. When, when they, when they, because they're going to get rid of the Tax Cuts and Job Act uh, legislation that led to uh, Americans, especially Black Americans, having reduced taxes. In addition to that, it it allowed for opportunity zones, which have already invested 75 billions worth of capital into the Black community in just two years. And so, under the uh, Biden tax plan, 50 Cent was right. He looked at the figures and said, "You know what? This is not a good plan for me or my family, my community. So I'm not going to support Joe Biden. I'm going to support President Trump because under the Biden plan, taxes will go up. He will have trade deals that will make it harder for." Uh, businesses in this country to not only survive, but also thrive overseas with in terms of uh, getting their goods overseas. And the, the Biden uh, plan will, also, will actually increase energy costs because of the Green New Deal and, and getting rid of things like fracking. And so on the whole, the Biden plan is not going to be good for Americans. It's not going to be good for the black community, especially because it's going to be a plan that is going to increase everything that President Trump worked to decrease. And the trade deals that he's going to get us into aren't going to be good for our economy either. That's why I'm proud the president has the platinum plan, which is his black economic empowerment uh, agenda for the second term, which is promising five to, to have an environment to have $500 billion worth of access to capital, five uh, 100,000 new black owned businesses and 3 million new jobs for the black community over the course of four years. These are things that the president is doing that are going to benefit the black uh, experience in this country and empower the black community and not push us down and hold us back, which Biden would do. You mentioned the platinum plan, and that leads me right to my next question. Another rapper, Ice Cube, did come out in support of the president's work for the black community last week. He said that Biden's campaign ignored his request to work with him on his contract with black America. The Trump administration, though, they listened, and he did actually serve as an advisor for that platinum plan. I'll break it down a little further. How does that plan really boost the economic opportunities for the black community here in the U.S.? So what the Platinum Plan does is it has a specific tailor-made agenda for the black community for the second term. And this is a holistic plan that not only addresses things about the economy, which, like I mentioned before, uh, $500 billion for access to capital so that uh, small business owners and entrepreneurs can actually have the funds necessary to start businesses and to grow businesses, but also it has billions of dollars worth of uh, broadband and telehealth uh, dollars to, to expand in that way. It also talks about uh, having uh, an opportunity for uh, exploring ways for people to have uh, established credit, because we know a lot of people in the black community don't have ways to establish credit if they don't own a home or have a credit card. And so it's looking at things like paying your cell phone bill on time and, and paying your rent on time for your, for your apartment and things of that nature, because those are ways to establish credit. This holistic plan deals with every aspect of uh, 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 black America's life, from health to safety and security to education, 
uh, as well as to economic opportunities. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.